I'm sure plenty of you tuned in and looking at these brackets, I am I'm really surprised by some of these One, some of these interviews. Five. Oh, so, okay, guys, uh, the first game of the day is about to begin. It's uh, Pavel versus Madball, and it's best of five today. We are on Toxicity, and I'm on Madball. Now. So such a slow start right now, but Madball already in a good shape, in a good position, and uh, for sure he's going to to get the first track. I have this feeling right now. You can not to be aggrieved. And by the way, I saw there will be a pool uh, about who is going to win. Uh, if someone can tell me what what was the uh, some some results about. I think, I think there's a pool. Coming about cooler winning everything or with every tournament somebody puts one up and i, I think it's absolutely hilarious i love it but you can never count cooler out no matter where he goes but guys right now this is a very 2-0 lead for uh for Madball right at the start here on toxicity and uh he's gonna get taking a lot of rocket damage here at the red he does manage to pick it up but pavel is gonna be there to punish him with these rockets he drops down in the toxic ways both players are low and pavel will turn this right around here and uh and get things going for himself but he's, he's left pretty weak only 27 uh, hp he did pick up a 50 that's a huge air rocket beautiful shot there from Madball. three to one now and that's gonna win him control right back from where he lost it Mad Dog did a good job, just came back to, to the game so fast. And uh, right now we can see that he also managed to steal red, it's really nice. And it gives him an opportunity to even to have a next, to, to try to, to fight for the next Mega. Oh my gosh, but without these uh, jumps into, into this AC, please. It's, it's okay, as long as he keeps landing these rails, which is at 75%, I know we're only two minutes in this game, but that's that's still a huge amount, uh, especially right off the beginning of a game. He's He can play defense, he can play offense with this rail gun, it does not matter to him, but uh, with that being said, he is moving his way over to that Mega, drops down to the YA, and shoots across the map, takes down Pavel for a fourth time, even finds him off the spawn. Here's the rocket jump, but is unable to connect and switch weapons fast enough, but it is okay. Pavel is on the back foot right now, and he knows that this red is coming up very, very soon, and wants to do all the damage he can, but Pavel lives long enough to jump on there and actually does a decent amount of damage. That red keeps him alive long enough to where he can pull out the shaft, but Pavel gets <laughs> caught on that ledge, and Madball, again with the rail, is going to take him down 80% now. For the 5 1 lead, that's, that's quite impressive. Nice angles by, by Madball this time. As we can see, he's trying to to keep his uh, his position and to keep how, he, how he's trying to, to control on this map. He's doing an absolutely amazing job. But uh, of course, he's playing against Pavel. Pavel, just uh, one of the beasts in Russia. By the way, we are right now in. Uh, uh, in the starting stage when we have mostly or Belarusian players or Russian players uh, still still in, in the tournament. It's just uh, for me it's one of, one of the things like when you need to, to respect European community and these two countries usually provide the best players uh, and the most amount of players. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You know, I, I've really noticed that the Russian scene has, has exploded over the past few months, if not, you know, maybe the past year or two. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I, I, you know, Cooler, obviously the big name coming from that region, but, uh, you know, Cypher, Belarusian as well. But uh, all these other guys um, Club, that, that have showed up. Yeah, I mean, Pavel uh, and all the 102 guys have just really kind of, really just picked up this game and they just kind of ran with it and they've they made their presence known and they've done a great job at that um so it's always good to see i, I can't say that i that i've lost any respect for the european scene if anything i've always i've always gained more and more respect with all the tournaments that you guys put on and and all of the all the players that show up consistently and play i think it's i think it's amazing and if we had that in north america um i don't know i think we'd have a much better uh much better system in place for this game but with that being said, guys, we are tied up now. Five to five. Madball is on the back foot a little bit here. He did win himself red, but Pavel trades for that mega. And it looks like Rockets are going to be his choice. Going against his LG. Whoa. He gets it done to take the lead. Beautiful work there. And he's actually left pretty uh, pretty healthy after this. And even does a lot of damage off the spawn there. So this is a, this is a good place for Pavel to be in right now. And even hits that facial rocket to extend his lead even more. So Pavel doing a great job coming back here. And just making sure his uh, his presence is known by Madball. He was not scared after the quick start from Madball. And was able to get his uh, get his control back very, very fast. Despite these rails that Madball just keeps landing. I swear the guy is still shooting in the upper 70s. Finally misses one though and goes down again. But Madball 
This is kind of crunch time here. He's, he's, he's giving away a lot of frags and he's really relying on this railgun. If he can string together some, some rocket or shaft frags, I think we'll be, uh, he'd be in a little bit better shape. Good job of Pavel. This comeback is just uh, what, what he will need it so bad. I think this uh, start of Mad Ball was a bit scary. And uh, probably Pavel was, uh, had, to, had to spend some. Oh my gosh, Lux, Lux, Lux. You, you can see the two? Yeah. Oh yeah, my. Pavel. Such a bad situation for Pavel. Uh, he, he gets used to Lux, of course, but uh, right now, to, in the middle of the game and actually close game, to get them, it's not so. So nice for him. I was about to say that uh, Pavel maybe needs some time to warm up because if he was on his way home, it's just to, to come and to sit and to play at the same moment when Madball had some uh, warm up games before. It's a bit hard to say uh, he's not in the same conditions right now. So uh, it's nice that he still uh, he still can can show us a good game. Whoa, yeah. whoa, Phoenix time out. <laughs> Nico definitely not happy about that. That's unfortunate for Pavel. I mean, he was playing great. He was coming back, and he was he was doing a good job. But uh, unfortunately, we can't always control the internet, and that's how it goes. So, well, guys, it looks like Pavel is actually on his way right back. It seems like his uh, his internet decided to uh, to crap out for just a second there, but he is on his way back. I don't know what Nico wants to do with this. Uh, hopefully, we can get things back to where they were. But that's that just brings back the nightmares of the. Uh, of the strengths versus cooler match a couple of years back, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see what Nico wants to do. But uh, this is interesting. I, this is see. These are the times where I think I'd hate to be an admin. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know how I would call this. No, it will be okay. I suppose that they're going to play five minutes more or something because to make a restart, it's impossible already. Yeah, just play so... five more minutes starting off and just kind of take the frag differential. I mean, that's, that is one way to do it. But of course, you got to incorporate the stack and uh, and everything that they had going into this. But uh, yeah, I can't understand what he's saying. If you want to, if you want to be No, 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 right now we're just uh, <laughs> trying to manage how to, who will be the open uh, operator on the server and to, to resolve this problem faster because Ash definitely knows what to do. So he's volunteered to help. You will just need some, some more time and they will figure out what to do, how to manage it and what's going on. Just give me a few minutes to read. Well, I guess we can kind of talk about a little bit what happened with the, uh... oh, Jesus, he he's like that again. <laughs> there he goes. It looks like Pavel's internet just wants to break right now. Wow. Well, guys, yeah, if, uh, we'll go back to what I was talking about right before this game started. Um, if you did miss the, uh, the 125F, or excuse me, not the 125 FPS, but the, uh, the Zowie One Day Cup yesterday, um, you know, the brackets are up. I can actually send the link in chat if you would like, but there's a lot of surprising finishes that happened. Um, and just taking a, take a look right off, of the, uh, right off the bat here, uh, we can go ahead and say that Cyber had, had an amazing tournament. He did lose the Evil in the finals, but he made it to the finals, and the guy beat Cypher on his way there. Um, and Ash, to just just to really set that uh, set that in stone. That's a beautiful tournament from him. And um, seven seven had a pretty good outing. Reaper had a pretty good outing. But uh, again, Cyber just taking down Cipher in the semifinals is uh, is or excuse me, the quarterfinals is is absolutely huge. And uh, Pony did pretty great as well. He did take out Claws to make it to the semifinals. Actually, had a good showing against Evil. Um, almost took him out, but it was a two to one scoreline for uh, for Evil. And Evil was able to take it. But um, keep uh, keep an eye on these Zowie One Day Cups, guys. And, and give a big shout-out to Zowie on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever it may be. Thank them for this Quake support. Um, in case you guys didn't see the prize pool, it's a pretty it's a, it's a pretty sweet prize pool. You get a customized mouse pad as well as a little bit of money after each tournament. And there's going to be three of these. Uh, the first one obviously being yesterday. And the next two Sundays, we're going to have uh, a tournament on each of those days as well. So hope you guys can tune in for that. Actually, you missed some nice games like uh, you, you, you told right about Cyber and his performance. It was uh, really impressive, especially for me. I like it a lot, his games against uh, Ash. 
uh, in semifinals. He was like, uh, you know, in this mode, like, damn, you can't win me. I will show you how to play. And even he lost, uh, despite the fact that he lost the first match, the first uh, first map. Uh, second and third, he just humiliated him there, and it was so impressive how he did that. I recommend you to watch the votes again. And speaking about Pony, uh, it was um, also a bit funny thing. He had some lags in internet. It's sad, yes, of course. And he, because of the lag, he he was so raged and he didn't want to play third decider map, and he just quit. After it, uh, it was the shortest game ever, I suppose, about 18 seconds only, uh, when Evil managed to make two frags on him in this period of time. But wow. as I know, uh, Pony will have a um, better connection next week or in uh, about 10, 10 days, something like this. So probably he will be, uh, he will be able to show us more, more entertainment games than, uh, than it was before for him in the first queue, of course. Uh, right now we are speaking uh, here on the server that probably they can play the game from the beginning if they want to or to let uh, start to, and to play only five minutes with uh, three frags for Pyro as lead. So, uh. yeah, this is, um, it's moments like these that kind of make me wish this was set up a little bit like Counter-Strike as far as matchmaking is concerned. You know, watching these Counter-Strike streams over the past few days uh, in these big tournaments, I've noticed that when players lag out, you can pause the game where it is and there's like a reset button basically where you can like go back to an individual round and uh, everybody has their their money back, all their guns back, everything. It starts off from like a saved point, which is pretty awesome. And I would love to see that implemented for uh, for tournaments for Quick Live. I think that would be amazing, especially when situations like this happen. You know, you're halfway through the game and somebody lags out. It's it's kind of hard to uh, it's kind of hard to reset things kind of where they were. So you know, that'd be a cool little feature if we could implement that, especially now that Quick is on Steam. You know, that's a that's a huge thing. So. Yeah, um, some some translation fast one here. I was reading and trying to get what's going on. Um, actually, they decided to play here right now on this server uh, to play only five minutes. Oh my gosh! No, Nico right now tells something about ten. Please kill me. <laughs> they even did not want to to restart to make another server like with five minutes limit or something. So I suppose they will play ten right now. And we kind of keep in mind that Pavel Two, is leading three tracks more. Five, let's go again. I'm in mental right now. So we're just going to take the frag differential? Yeah, it looks like it, but uh, Madball getting a pretty oh, good start yep. here. He runs out of LG ammo, unfortunately, but... Uh, Oh wow, that was a beautiful <laughs> rocket there coming across the map into Pavel or from Pavel we and lost. and Pavel is gonna take advantage of that and just rush straight in and take down Madball on the uh, on the stairs there. He does it once more too. Madball trying to go right back in on the uh, on the LG there, but gets taken out. And again, he's caught in a weird position down at this lower YA. And he's really gonna try and wait for this a little too long, possibly. And yeah, that one little tickle of LG is gonna do it. 3-0 now for Pavel, which actually I guess technically makes it 6-0. Uh, so Madball has a little bit of a uh, little bit of time and uh, and frags to make up here, especially when he keeps going down so quickly. Looks like it's not gonna happen, but if yes, uh, if there will be three frags leading for Madball, that's what you asked me, I suppose. For, um, they will just uh, play this map again from the beginning. <laughs> well, it was it was Pavel in the lead, right? He was up eight to five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was in the lead, and right now we kind of have uh, eight frags for him. Yeah. <laughs> again, <laughs> and six frags for Madball. Uh, but uh, if Madball will really manage to, to make it three frags more, like a final score in five minutes, then it will repeat again. Now, that being said, Madball finally getting on the board here, but he's got a lot, again, a lot of uh, frag difference here to make up, and he's making it happen now. Two quick frags, and if he can keep converting, he's only got uh, about three more minutes to do so. You know, that would be huge for him, but I'm going to take a look at Madball and see what he can string together. Mega's not up for another about five seconds. He's actually going to extend a little bit here, try to do a little bit of damage right before this. 
Uh, but he knows that Mega is going to soon. And Red is up as well. He's torn between the items. He doesn't really know where Pavel's going to go. He's going to try his best to get both. But he hears the water. And Pavel is going to rock and jump up. Actually, and steal that away. Surely this is going to be a red for Madball, but he definitely wants to put a little bit more damage onto Pavel and punish him for this. But he can't do, he cannot do too much damage here. That's only a little bit of LG damage that he gets without when that rock is huge, especially that rail. And if he can convert here, this thing's going to be looking very, very good for him. Madball here, pushing in once more. Pavel's still weak, finally takes him down. That's uh, that's three frags now. But Madball needs at least five more here to uh, to tie things up. Uh, beautiful rail, Gates makes it happen. So Pavel is kind of throwing this away almost. All these conversion frags are going, all going Madball's way, but that Mega is up and just gets taken by Pavel off the spawn. That's going to keep him alive and allow him to run away for now. But Madball did a decent amount of damage. Only 97 health, health for uh, Pavel here. Now Red is obviously going to help a lot. He's going to steal that 50 away just to make sure that Madball can't get that after this. But Madball is landing these rails when he needs it. He's, uh, he's going to be looking to maybe create a little bit more distance and keep the rails rocking because that has been his, his go-to weapon today. If it's working, you know, if it's working, just no reason to fix it if it's working. But beautiful LG denial there. It takes a lot of rocket damage, but uh, same thing for Pavel. Pavel's very weak here. Madball can definitely get this frag if he plays this right. And 12 HP is what he's left with. Ties this game up, technically, but uh, still three frags to make up here overall. Yeah, it was nice, uh, nice work by my ball in the last few minutes. I, I was so close to see that he, he will lose this frag because, because of this absolutely nice, nice job by Pavel. He just uh, hitting everything right now and for sure he knows that he is leading. So for him it um, doesn't necessary to push all the time. But this map is a map when you can't just hold on. You can't just uh, stay somewhere in the corner and wait when your opponent will, will just be crazy trying to find you somewhere. No. And right now, actually guys, uh, we are one frag left for Madball to tie the game. Do not look at the score right now. It's not relevant anymore. <laughs> We are in our own rules and our own uh, university. So, yes, and he did that. Tie game. And, oh my, it's uh, about only 30 seconds left, actually, for both of the players. So I'm assuming they just keep playing after the five minute mark if, if another frag does not happen. Um, so right now, technically, guys, we, yeah, we are tied, as Enjoy said. And, uh, and we're nearing 10 seconds left in this game, and it looks like they may have to keep playing as a tiebreaker. I'm not sure if they want to play two extra minutes or just go ahead and play this game all the way out. Either way, I guess that's a, uh, an admin call to make, but it looks like technically we're in overtime right now. And both players are going to keep going. They both realize what is at stake. And if there's a way to communicate to them, uh, which I don't know if there is, but uh, I guess they're going to go ahead and play out the rest of this five minutes. It's going to be the long overtime technically, but that is okay. We have, we have no problems with that. So beautiful work there from Madball, getting it done, making this uh, making this comeback happen after a, a bit of a confusing thing. And yeah, Cyber, I, I'm confused too, dude. <laughs> this is a, yeah, yeah, for this sure. Is overtime. It, 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 right now it counts like an overtime, so it's absolutely <laughs> crazy to, to see the first game with so many problems and so many, you know, it's notes about like you need to remember this and that about the uh, current game but yes guys right now it's not uh, 8 to 5 it's 8 to 8 Marvin Madball versus Pavel we are in overtime <laughs> time and uh, I suppose that it's a good time right now for Madball to shine because everything right now is back to him he has control he's uh, all over the map uh, knows where he's opening and uh, of course this r nice trap he knew that for Pavel it's important to try to get this thread so a bit more and he will get one more frag lead I believe in that somehow so I would like to to, Pavel to, to shine a bit bit more <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> that's that's beautiful trade of damage there as well Pavel's gonna win himself that mega but uh the rocket was used for Madball with Rail previously from Pavel, but that Rail right there is going to leave Pavel crippled, and that red is up for Madball. That's going to be huge because his health is not exactly where he wants it to be. And uh, I'm actually going to take a look at Pavel. He does have a better stack, but he is on the back foot right now because he's taken so much damage previously. But Madball, if he can keep stringing these Rails together, again, that has been his favorite weapon this entire time. He's doing a great job stringing them together. So right now, he's... We did hear that little scream. Surely Pavel knows he's a little bit weak, but that 50 HP is going to be huge for him. But Pavel, it's tons of LG. That red is up once more, so now Madball can push in and try to make something happen. But 
at seven minute mark hit. So technically second overtime here, I guess we're going to be going to at least nine minutes into this game to compensate for what has happened. I think this is a beautiful hold though from Pavel. He's been able to uh, to hold off that string of frags that Madball did in that first five minutes here to bring it back. And he's done a great job not giving up anything else after this. Especially with Whoa. a drop down rail like that. Beautiful oh, shot yeah. there from Pavel. He takes the lead. Right now, for sure, you can guess, guess I'm sorry, how, how it could be if uh, Pavel wouldn't have any lags and everything. But um, actually, as I can see, for him, doesn't, it doesn't stop or anything. For him, it doesn't matter. He used to some lags, he used to have such a problems, and he still hangs and show us that he can he can play in any conditions, and it's really nice to see it. Mendel, at the same time, He's managed to, he managed to come back a bit more and oh my Pavel, what are you doing right now? So wow. easy. So technically guys, I know you're asking in chat, right now technically the game is tied up. There was a three frag differential for Pavel um, right before he lagged out. So technically they're tied and actually now that being said, Madball has a one frag lead and about 45 seconds left in the game uh, technically. So. Right now, Pavel needs to make something happen if he really wants to stay in this and take it to the uh, to the end of this game for real. But uh, he's going to be making his way over to red here. He takes so much damage. A beautiful rail finish there from Madball. Two frag lead now for Madball. And uh, with about 30 seconds left, Pavel needs to make some miracles happen. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Especially with these rails. I'm so impressed with Madball's rails right now. I, I'll tell you what, he's stringing so many together. And, he, and he's making all these plays open, open up just completely how he needs it to be so beautiful work from him and surely this is gonna be the nail in the coffin two rails landed from pavel but too little too late five seconds left surely these guys are gonna stop i i would think as a mutual agreement that's an untold agreement but i, I think technically that's the end of the game uh, actually right now yes i we, we all can say that this game is over because three parks to get for Pavel. It's uh, with, with all, all controlled by Madball, and this uh, hidden rails is just just impossible. Yeah, we're checking right now with admin how it is. Uh, I suppose that there's like that they want to still play this half minute to show to, to make the show go on a bit more. That's fine with me. Wherever you were, just, just be healthy. Stay healthy, there, please. Yes. Thank you. I suppose it's a girlfriend of fear. Sorry, what? Yeah, well, she's okay. It's okay. It's really good. <laughs> there you have yeah, it, guys. So um, longest duel ever, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's gonna go mad no, way. No, you're wrong. <laughs> That's true, yeah, that's not even close, but a bit of a confusing situation there. Hopefully Pavel's, uh, Pavel's internet stays uh, steady as it is now. That would be nice, of course, but uh, I, don't, I don't know if we can really blame the lag there and say Pavel's internet kind of made him lose that, but, uh, you know, he can definitely blame it. I, I, I would be a little bit upset, too, because he did have that three-frag lead and a good momentum uh, going, into the, uh, going into that lag out, but it is very unfortunate for him, so it looks like Madball is going to be taking that first map, so... We're going to be moving on to the second map. I was actually unable to see the picks, but Blood Run. And uh, enjoy. You can tell us about Russians on Blood Run. Actually, everyone asking about it uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on on Blood Run? Russians and Blood Run and Russians again. Um, of course, right now we are we are not in this uh, this more this world anymore. When Russian leading all the time over the end, it was before. But right now, I would say that Madball also pretty solid on this map. On this map, so uh, it should be interesting game game with normal scores. <laughs> normal with uh, I hope with no lags. So we will see close game. That's what I'm expecting for. Well, guys, with that being said, we are going to go live here into the second map. Madball is up 1-0 to zero right now. And in 3-2-1, I'm going to be watching Pavel here off of the start and to see what he can do to uh, turn this around a little bit. So, wow, uh, very uh, very close spawn there. It looks like Madball is going to opt for that Mega. He's going to try to do a little bit of damage here, actually, uh, right before Pavel jumps to that red. He does manage to grab that, and surely Madball will make his way to Mega. He's actually going to be delaying this for a, a significant amount of time. That's actually a good move. He already went and took that yellow. And now he finally gets that Mega, and Pavel has no idea. So that's a significant delay. 
Pavel may have a little bit of an idea, I should say. I should say he has no idea, but uh, that time is going to be significantly in Madball's favor. And with the red being up right yeah. now... That's how you can uh, you can try to, to get to surprise your opponent, who is uh, by default kind of leading... What? Oh my, these rockets! Pavel, help! But right now it will be back. No, it's impossible, yeah. <laughs> just, just one to one, in, guys. Yeah. Really nice, oh, nice job by Madball, anyway. His delay worked it somehow. He didn't lost anything right now. Um, score is still tight. <laughs> so yeah, just yeah. just nice note to to make these delays. Like for example, Cypher always been delayed on uh, on Furious Hates for Mega as well. So one more trick to know and to remember all the time. Yeah, that was that was huge from Pavel making that frag happen. But Madball turns right back around off the spawn and just MG sesses his sesses him down to uh to get that return frag. So Mega's gonna go through in two seconds. Pavel is on top of it. He's already landed a rail, and Madball is just gonna get the hell out of there. And he's gonna be hauling up to this uh, middle part of map. He drops down. He doesn't want to take as much damage as he has been. It's a beautiful rail though. And wow, Pavel actually misses that shot. That's a you know, a slightly easier rail to hit, especially that straight line that he's running in, but unable to connect. And Madball is going to get himself a free red, so this could be huge for Madball to get back into this map because Pavel only has 91 armor to work with, and uh, and Madball has a pretty nice stack here. The only thing he needs is to really bully himself onto Mega, but uh, Pavel has that timing and he knows that that's what Madball is going to do. And Madball shows up, he gets his LG out a little too late, and Pavel may make this happen again. He does. The Mega keeps him alive, and the rail comes out. He takes down Madball for a second time. Again, huge work from Pavel, but no! <laughs> Madball spawns on his rail and takes him out for the return frag again. Are you kidding me? I'm enjoying the game right now because it's both guys just make so huge preparations. And then in one minute, in 10 seconds, they just come in, coming back to the same score, actually. So fast, but nice, nice job by, by Madball again. He doesn't miss this rail, so it's always uh, this easy rail on, on, on the red armor. So that's how it pays back. Right now on this level, it's impossible uh, to, to miss anything because every rail counts. And every miss is just could be your frag last. Well, that was a that was a pretty ballsy rocket jump from Pavel, timing that right. He uh, makes the jump up and steals away that red, but he does need a little bit of health right here. He really wants to make a play on the next Mega, or even this next red, but he does so. He does so much damage again. The, the rockets from Pavel here have been absolutely stellar. And uh, he's looking for a little bit more damage here. He has no rail to work with, but he's got the LG. Uh, there's just a little bit of ammo left, but Madball is taking a lot of damage and really not returning much. That's uh, obviously not how you want to play Quake, but he does steal away that Mega. That could be good for Madball. Yellow is in favor of Pavel as well as Red possibly, and the Plasma is huge as well. Are you kidding me? Through the Teleporter. Uh, I'm not going to say too much because this is usually where Madball comes rushing in and returns the frag immediately. So uh, let's see if Madball can maybe turn it around really quick, but it looks like he didn't spawn next to any of those weapons like he did the previous two times. So this may actually slow down a bit after the after the frag from Pavel. Russians actually could open a school for for Quakers about how to use plasma cooler, <laughs> and uh, Pavel both of them right now shows us that it's a pretty pretty nice weapon to use, like with no fears, with no no missing at all. It's like. Wow. wow, same good combo with these rockets. That was really beautiful nice. movement from Pavel though, Ar around the mega area. He dodged everything that Madball threw at him and, and kind of snuck out of that corridor. I don't think Pavel, or excuse me, I don't think Madball is expecting Pavel to come through there so early, but he does. Beautiful work from Pavel to extend this lead even more. And looking to deny every spawn, lands the rail. Pavel is just on fire right now with his plasma, his rockets, everything. That aim is working perfect for him, and Mega is going to be up. Surely he'll get that. And this is going to be a massive stack that Madball is going to have to contend with, whether he wants to or not. And here's the drop down. Beautiful trap there from Pavel. He's still there, and Madball is just kind of barreling around the map, not really looking uh, left or right, crossing the street in the worst timing. So that's actually a decent amount of damage. Takes away a lot of the armor that Pavel had. Only 29 uh, points of armor left. That, that yellow is going to be, you know, a little bit beneficial, but... But Madball, if he can get a, a yellow and, and a couple weapons, he's going to be on the same stack as uh, as Pavel. So this could be a chance for him to make something happen, actually. That turned around pretty quickly. No, actually not. I don't know why, but last few few frags for Pavel... Oh my, this rocket! Did you see that? <laughs> Direct rocket with his jump! Shut my mouth, wow. Pavel, thank you. Just beautiful prediction by Pavel. Um, actually, Madball just trying, after all spawn, to run and to find Pavel, not trying to get any any armor, nothing. I don't know what he's doing. 
just to make this uh, spawn frags kind of from the beginning, expecting that your opponent is too low or something, but it doesn't work like this, never. And as you can see, right now scores are only kind of only getting worse for, for Madball. So he needs to stop to do that. Yeah, they think it slow things down again, you know, ZTN is known to be offensive and defensive. It's very easy to transition in this map usually, um, especially if you're a Russian. You, you know exactly how to play this map, or Belarusian for that matter. But, uh, but right now, Mabel is playing a little too aggressive in ports where I don't think he really needs to be. He can definitely slow this down a bit. He's got four minutes to work with, so, you know, of course, six frags on this map is a, is a good bit to make up, but it's definitely doable. If he can slow this down and, and, and land on some of those rails, possibly, that he was landing last map on Toxicity, I think he would have a better time, but I, I don't know. Right now, even though I say that, Pavel's aim is on just as much as Madball's. I mean, the trade of rails from these guys is absolutely huge, and Pavel is going to make that frag happen, uh, but he's very weak, too. So uh, again, Madball's doing a little bit of damage, but it's almost too little too late. Pavel is weak, but oh wow, he actually hit a little bit of that splash grenade, so he knows where Madball is. But Madball goes to the teleporter as quick as possible and actually takes down Pavel with that rail. I don't think Pavel was expecting him to be running through that teleporter so fast, and Madball's going to win himself a red. He's actually got a very decent stack, so again, Madball, he's got the opportunity to really make something happen as long as he can take the least amount of damage possible. He takes a good bit of shaft, but not too much. And he's actually got a shaft in his arsenal now, so he can keep those uh, those medium range fights exactly where he wants them. So if he can win himself this mega and go to red as fast as possible, he's gonna have a great chance to really make stuff happen. He's actually gonna opt out. He's just late, but he does so much damage. Pavel with the direct rocket. It looks like Pavel may be out of ammo, but Mega's up. He steals it away too. Madball, are you kidding me? You're giving these away. He makes the frag happen, but all the items are gone. Oh my god, Madball. Amazing job by Pavel in this case. He was just in position when he couldn't attack actually, and anyway, he managed to deliver a lot of damage and almost killed Madball. It, it was amazing, and um, I would like to see right now how Pavel will show us how we really need to play on CTN in defensive mode, trying to not to show up a lot and to still trying to, to control some items like right now. Perfect timing and a lot of a lot of damage. Look at Madball, 16 HP only, nothing. Yeah, this is a this is a rough position here for Madball. He's out of rockets too in the plasma. Oh my god, only needed to connect with two of those plasma balls, and he does so. Pavel's gonna take him down. So two minutes left, guys. Madball wins himself red off the uh, spawn or off his spawn here. He lands a rail as well, but he's gonna need to make up five frags here very very quickly. And uh, he, again, he has the potential to do it, he's got the aim to do it, but right now, the, the random spam rockets from Pavel that are just connecting with Madball's face, it's, it's definitely making things difficult. Mega is up, he won himself red, he won himself a Mega, is, or excuse me, a, a, a yellow armor as well, and that Mega is going to help too, but those grenades, are you kidding me? Whoa! So much unwarranted damage, and he's going to call it quits there, Madball wants nothing more to do with this map. Pavel is going to tie things up, guys. Pavel, a master of grenades. <laughs> Even when master of looking. anything explosive, that yeah. game, that's what we can say. Yeah, it was really nice finish by Pavel GG. It was, was impressive right now. We see him coming back uh, after this losing of the first map. Oh, I'm just curious right now what will be the third one. I also missed a bit this map picks. Uh, ah, Sinister, of course. How without Sinister? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sinister is a fun map to watch. Uh, I I'm glad that actually these guys decide to play it as much as they do. I think it's a pretty cool map. Um, it it's almost like a miniature T7 in a way. It's it's got great elements to it, and I like the uh, I like the transitions that players can make and the uh, the little traps that can happen with these teleporter play. I think it's a really really cool map. So. Kind of glad we get to see these guys playing this today, especially with the way their aim has been. I'm, I've been so impressed. So this should be, uh, this should be good stuff. But guys, before we get started, just to let you know. Thank you for tuning in. We really, really appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, hit the follow button. If you have not, hit the subscribe button as well. If you want to help us out to keep bringing this action to you. But we are going to go into this third map, tied one to one now. Pavel versus Madball. I'm going to start off on Madball to see if he can uh, come back from that loss he just suffered. Actually, Sinister for me is more closer to ZTN style. You also can choose here what style you would like to play. Aggressi aggressive, with aggression, more aggression, or you would like to, to calm down and to let your opponent just to try to, 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 to survive somehow while you're making nice shots. And actually, for Madball right now, I suppose it would be the perfect strategy to use the second one. To slow down the uh, whole process, to 
to keep uh, over con control not over the items but over the whole situation too and uh, he can do it actually nice control right now and uh, pretty pretty smart not not trying to, to even uh, smart play not even trying to, to attack right now of course it's obvious <laughs> Oh, click goes the LG, and that's yeah, no ammo for that, but he pops for the rail, that was ballsy. <laughs> he was railable, and Pavel, he's so lucky Pavel with, and that red comes up and keeps him alive, so Madball is gonna get the first frag. I like how Madball played that off the start. He did opt to give away that second red, but he played it so slow, he just gathered a few yellows, got two megas before he pushed in and made that first frag happen, so wasting a minute of the clock is definitely not bad, especially when it goes in your favor like that, so beautiful setup there from Madball. And he's gonna come up the stairs once more, and hopefully take down Pavel right before red, he does, and actually oh, Pavel's gonna oh, drop no. down and crater. Wow, so that's the second red in a row going to Madball, and again, he keeps his stack up, he's got a beautiful stack to work with here, to transition into the rest of this game, or at least the next few minutes, especially after he lands that rail too. Wow, that five, five actually, we had some some time to even like, to be more relaxed maybe in some games, not to attack and to rush all the time because you you know that you have a second chance somehow, especially in the beginning. And that's probably what uh, Pyro right now is doing. He's trying to, of course, he will fight back in this in this match, right? Probably he's not too much like every one hundred percent about to lose this this, ma this map or not. And depends what what map will be next one. How he can turn out the things. Oh no, really? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Madball making it three to negative one now. Four frag differential, and he's going to be making his way over to the red side of this map. Uh, I'm sure we're going to take a look at Pavel and see what's going on with him. It seems like he's rushing in a little bit and trying to rush this, uh, these plays just a little bit. Um, you know, on a map like this it can work, but you got your aim's got to be there. It seems like Pavel's whipping some of these shots that he, uh, he, was, he was landing in the last few maps. But uh, he does a little bit of damage right there. Got to be careful jumping up here, yeah. It looks like Mavon wants to go aggressive and deny Pavel in every, little, every facet of this map. But uh, Pavel will stay alive. He's still very weak. It takes away a yellow, but that's not going to be much compared to the stack that Mavon has right now, especially after that red. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that, uh, that rail actually nearly missed from Pavel. But, uh, but Mavon, I, again, I like how he's playing this. He's slowing this down. He's he's not playing too super aggressive and, and, until Pavel kind of rushes in on these items. He's not trying to force a fight. He's just trying to deny the items right now. He's doing a great job, especially the way Pavel's playing. It's, it's, kind of a, it's just kind of counteracting what Pavel's doing. That's exactly how you need to play this map. And uh, he takes a rail for his efforts, but he does grab that red, so pretty much negligible on what just happened. But beautiful plasma start, and that's actually a lot of damage coming off for Pavel. The rockets again, are you kidding me? Russian rockets <laughs> in tight corners. Always be scared of those guys. And again. Pavel, Pavel did such a good job for the last three minutes, actually. It just. It was. Uh, wow, what a rocket right now by Pavel. Jeez. <laughs> he was. Yeah, just crazy. In this map, you're right. His rockets are just. just unbelievable uh he was so so careful uh last wow. few minutes yes and finally he he, he received his his tracks back because he he deserved it in my opinion at least and um, he he was not trying to attack him all the time on every item he only were checking and trying to keep uh, control it's really nice move from him and uh, actually he, he right now he can still continue to do that but maybe with a little bit of aggression, you will not never see Pavel uh, like with uh, like a headless chicken running around. No, he will try to get things more accurate, more uh, like, like he will he will think about them more than than to do something without any preparation. Like right now, tie game right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, Pavel took a little time to to, uh, to make that last frag happen. There it took a little more damage than he wanted, but luckily. Uh, Mega's up, yellow's up, and red is coming up too, so he can compensate for all that damage he just took. He's got a massive stack, but he needs LG ammo. He did he did just run out at the uh, the end of that last little fight there. Or excuse me, right before he needs uh, that last frag, I should say. But he denies every item on this map, literally. There's nothing up right now for Madball, so there's no armor he can have except for shards. And, uh, and Pavel should know that. And Madball is going to land a nice direct rocket in the... Uh, corner of this uh, of this doorway but he cannot land this rail and he's so weak there's a beautiful rail from Pavel luckily for Madball he just picked up that 50 to stay alive but surely he will not be living much longer than this Pavel is going to drop down and go super aggressive to 
hopefully get this last frag. But Madball is just spamming the corners, but Pavel is actually going to opt to back out, which is not a bad move. He knows he doesn't have to push in here, but to be honest with you, it looks like Madball is not making it a, not making it a priority to get out of here too fast, but he finally makes it to the other side of the map. And again, yeah, back foot, only 49 HP. He definitely needs to get out of there right now and, and scrounge for some items, but uh, Pavel is obviously going to make sure that that is not possible. Red is up on his stand. Madball opts for Mega here. Obviously, he does not have time on that red, but... Pavel gets that mega, needs to make his way to red as quickly as possible. He does, so that's good for good work for him. So, lead now again for Pavel. And we've got uh, a little bit less than uh, four minutes left on this map. I, uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Pavel right now. Pavel is playing right now really solid, really calm, and it's just enjoyable for me to see that. Uh, impressive how he's doing that. And he, he doesn't make his steal when, when he has his, uh, his control, he's still not rushing, that's important. Because many players doing the same mistake all the time. Okay, I got control, I can run and I can kill my opponent. No, it doesn't want to exist. So, and Pavel right now just showing up, uh, showing us how how he became the second man <laughs> on Moscow LAN. Last Moscow LAN that he played in the um, LAN, LAN Championship. Mm. So it's really nice. Wow, what a rare for Madball. I'm surprised actually that right now game in time again. Yeah, so game is actually tied up now on Pavel. It's a nice rocket there before Madball goes to the teleporter. But Mad, oh my god, are you kidding me? Get out of here! <laughs> Two huge rockets down from uh, Mega Pit. Are you kidding me? And keep it going. He's just denying the LG too. Madball cannot be happy. Tries to rocket jump out, but the shaft is going to finish things off. Red is going to be oh well, maybe. Red is going to be the uh, the present here for Pavel for those rockets. Those were absolutely massive. Are you kidding me? At the same the moment, he doesn't Pavel. have oh. a lot of uh, a lot of accuracy. It's only 33 percent of rockets, but just in time, just in the right place, and just in your face, Madball. I'm sorry, but it's sad, but but it's true. And actually, speaking about accuracy, I would like to to say that uh, 57 percent of Plasma right now uh, it's uh, stats of Pavel. Also impressive. You you will not see for every, every player <laughs> such a stats, especially in duel. Wow, the rocket's actually failing him there. It takes a lot of uh, LG damage, and Madball's gonna take him down for his sixth frag. But that's uh, I'm surprised because that was a lot of armor to crank through for Madball, and he gets it done. But he's only got about fresh spawn HP right now to get back. <laughs> Again. Coming back with the facial rocket slap. Wow, Mad! I, I would be so mad if I was Madball right now. I'm sorry, but that that is you know, those rockets are just massive. And again, right now, Pavel, he just can't miss with these rockets except for that one fight that we just saw. That was the one slip up that he's had almost this entire time. But but right now, I, I I don't know. I think the only person that would not get hit with these rockets is maybe Cooler with his with his dodge. But other than that, Pavel just on point the rockets and even the rails madball is just trying to force something to happen here i can't really blame him one minute left one he's minute. got four frags to make up but right now pavel is just a monster and he's just making sure pavel has no chance to make this happen so i think it should be safe to say that this is going to be uh yep madball is going to call it that is going to be the second map now for pavel definitely well played from him huge huge rockets i'm i'm thoroughly impressed really nice to play by, by pavel right now he absolutely just Surprise it all of us. I would say he had some lags. You could see this you could feel it and Anyway, uh, even he failed with some jumps. Uh, his rockets were perfect as you said. It's absolutely amazing uh, Next uh, next map. I'm curious what it will be again Probably cure Possibly possibly. Oh wow I'm actually going in t7 so Well guys we uh are... Oh <laughs> Yeah Looking at chat, guys. Give a give a little shout out to everybody that's watching right now. We just we we broken the thousand viewer mark, so uh, really really appreciate that, guys. And we're on the front page as well. That's absolutely huge. We couldn't be more hyped about that. So let the hype run through the chat if you can. Uh, just just shout out to all you guys that are watching right now. Spread the word. Retweet. Make your own tweets. Let everybody know that this is going on right now. 125 FPS September League round of 12 right now. Pavel versus Madball. We're going to be bringing you guys Cooler versus Wins after this as well. Uh, and guys, this is a 2-1 lead now for Pavel going into the fourth map. This is game point for him if he can convert this. So I want to take a look at Pavel here off the start. 
He's gonna get that mega side. Surely the uh, the red spawn went to Mad Ball. So we're gonna take a look and see what uh, Pavel can make happen with no armor right now. Maybe he'll double back and get this yellow. But it uh, looks like Mad Ball was trying to deny that LG, but unable to make that happen. Land on a few plasma balls. He actually takes down a lot of the HP that uh, Pavel had. So Mad Ball possibly looking a little bit better here off the start. Good job this damage right now by Madball, but at the same time he could not just uh, repeat the same uh, the same accuracy like Pavel's with Plasma. So first track for Pavel already. It's only the beginning, guys. Don't worry. We will see how Madball will try to, to fight back, and I'm sure that he will because right now heights high, all, all stacks are higher, and um, if uh, Madball will lose that, he will. Um, he will lose uh, all this match, right? So we'll be we are in best of five, so it's one. Yeah. Ah, no. This is this is game point, Pavel. He's up right two zero. Now. Yeah. True. <laughs> all right, two zero. Wow, sorry, two one. Excuse me. Two two one two one two two. two. <laughs> but Pavel landing some decent plasma right there. Uh, but Mad Ball is gonna have a good height advantage. I don't know if he's gonna push in here. Uh, he wants to do a little bit of damage on that Mega, but yeah, he def he just backed out, he went to red and went for the safe play there. Can't really blame him. Uh, way too early in the game to really force something to happen, despite the one frag lead that Pavel has. So, Pavel's looking great though. He just grabbed that Mega, he's got a massive stack, so he can play this very comfortably. He gets himself a rail, so even furthermore, makes sure that those long range fights can, can definitely be a possibility for him. But uh, the next red is where the damage is going to happen for him. If he can make the damage happen here on Madball, and, or vice versa, I think that's really going to give either one of these players a huge foothold in this map. But Pavel's going to scoop that up away from Madball. Madball, though, landing some decent rockets, and Pavel actually finally returning one uh, with some rockets of his own. Takes a lot of damage for his efforts, though, and he is fairly weak. He wants to get this Mega so bad, but Madball comes to that teleporter and jumps just a little too late, and he's going to go down for a third time. Uh, a little bit of an opportunity lost there. I don't know if he would have, uh, if he could have gotten that frag. If he did, I don't know how much health he would have, but uh, definitely an opportunity nonetheless. But again, Pavel is just an absolute monster right now. It seems like he can't miss anything, so... Bad ball. I would be, uh, I'd be raging if I were him. Oh, jeez. He is, actually. What he's writing right now in the chat, on some, some small notes, is like he's really raging about Lux. And as you can see by his play style right now, it, it's the same. He's just running, like, with no idea what he's doing. I have this feeling. It's like, I want to kill Pavel, that's all. Only one thought in my mind right now. <laughs> Oh, finally he managed to do that, but what's the price? 6 to 1 right now, and probably he will not be able to keep this score. I am not sure of this. It's, right now it's hard. Yeah, very, very quick start here from Pavel. Um, you know, we're not, we're not totally used to seeing the scoreline go crazy like this right at the beginning of the game, but again, I, I think Madball is still sort of stuck in that toxicity game as far as pace is concerned. Again, he's going pretty aggressive here when he really doesn't have to, especially on a map like this. You can slow things down pretty significantly and, uh, and kind of scrounge for items. I think the the main person to watch that does that is Rafa. Uh, you know, a shout out to him to how he plays this map. He's so good at transitioning on this map and being able to hide and, uh, and really turn things in his favor when he's out of control. Um, so if you want to take notes on how to play T7, I think Rafa is definitely one of the ones that you want to watch. Um, strengths as well, actually, obviously with his timing of items on this map. And again, the transition from room to room. But uh, but again, Pavel is just capitalizing on Madball being so aggressive. He can just rely on this stack to keep him alive. And Madball is just trying to force things right now. And it's not happening, obviously. 11 to 1, and we're not even four minutes into this game. That's that's almost unheard of on C7. Pavel right now just turned it into the beast. He was uh, so aggressive trying to attack when he had when he lost this one this only one frag. So right now he just showing to Madball that even some lags anything can stop me. It's amazing to watch because he's just uh, you say not missing rails. Did this absolutely? I like this frag right now. One minute ago it was this frag with rail in the air when both of the players were flying. It's just amazing, really nice. So these frags we were missing a lot, and I only can imagine how sad right now and how hard right now it's for Madball. Please. I try, try to keep keep up in this game, try to stay here with us. <laughs> we still believe in you and that you can at least get a couple of tracks. So with a good job on uh, toxicity, what's going on right now? Sorry about that guys, just making sure we've got uh, winds lined up to hop in here after this is done. 
but uh, five minute morning has hit. And again, a 10 frag differential for Pavel. Uh, oh, wow, frag. <laughs> really? Hey, if oh, 11 frags can happen in five minutes for Pavel, uh, uh, we can see maybe 10 frags for Madball in five minutes. Who knows? This this is definitely isn't over yet. And Madball gets another frag. Uh, Pavel, that's, that's an unfortunate way for, uh, for things to happen for him. But uh, he's on the back foot right now, just trying to make sure that Madball can't get his foothold in this map. But Red is up, and Pavel gets that spawn. He's going to get the rocket launcher first. And he's actually going to opt for the LG. Pick up or excuse me, Red was not up. That was that was Mega. I'm sorry about that. But uh, Red is coming up right now, and Pavel's actually on the Mega side of the map. So either way, both major items have just gone to to, uh, to Madball here. So this is a huge opportunity for him to really get it back into this map. We just he just really has to hope that those uh, those Pavel rockets don't show up. But eight HP, surely Pavel's gonna go down here. Madball's just chasing, takes him down once more. And wow, beautiful uh, spawn prediction as well from Madball. I like this. He's uh, basically just chasing Pavel all around the map, but Pavel wins himself red as well as one of those YAs. This could be uh, detrimental to Madball. I think Madball let him get away with a little too much there. But we will see. The chase is on right now. Again, Madball going super aggressive. He, d he cannot afford to chase straight in, though. He needs to find some different angles, especially if he's not going to be landing any damage at all. That is huge LG coming from Pavel. And that 50 HP is going to keep him alive even longer. Who knows, actually, this could be... This could be Pavel going down 3 HP. One more MG bullet, he gets it done, and Mavol is gonna live. Oh my no, god, the back and forth, I happen. can't even right now. Absolutely impossible right now, we can see that Pavel is just managing to, to get back these frags. Even that he had some bad time with the spawn frags, the period. But uh, for Pavel it's, it's so easy to slow down the game when Madball is so so impatient right now so for sure he needs to, to hurry up but uh, at the same moment uh, he needs to, to catch Pavel wisely he will not allow him just to, to rush on him to jump and to get uh, more frags over him this one I would say an exception <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely. But again, you know, six frags to make up. This can be a defensive heavy map, as we said. But uh, but obviously, right now, both these guys playing so aggressive that it almost it almost doesn't matter because uh, you know tons of frags just happened in the first half of that map. And right now, Madball making six frags is not impossible with two and a half minutes left. It, absolutely not, especially with Pavel that weak. And the rail does connect. Madball needs a spawn frag. Wow, Pavel spawning in the worst possible part, and a second oh telefrag. Are you kidding me? Two in one game for Madball, that's huge. Red's coming up as well. Beautiful work here from Madball. Again, he can easily make this happen if he just plays his cards right. Pavel is going to be on the back foot, looking to land any kind of spam and crazy damage that he possibly can. And he's actually doing a great job of this, playing those tight corners, which is exactly what you want to do. But Pavel's still going down. It's all right, though. 11 to 8 now, guys. Two minutes left. Mega is in Madball's hands. This is, this is huge. This could be a, a beautiful comeback from him. Looks no like, yeah, crazy hands. right now what they're doing. Two frags now, minute and a half left. Wow. <laughs> this is doable. I, I, me, Madball just needs to dodge these uh, these spam rockets, the spam grenades around these corners. Again, I do like what Pavel's doing. He's really trying to play these tight corners with a lot of explosive weapons, which is exactly what you want to do when you're on the back foot. But uh, right now, that's almost all he has to work with. And when he gets close, it's just not... It's not happening. And, and Madball, beautiful stack still. He didn't take any damage there at all. And uh, one frag is huge. And right now, Pavel is nothing but grenades. He lands a direct nade. Make that two. <laughs> if that third one landed, so I would have started crying. But one minute warning, guys. We are tied up here. And, and enjoy. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say right now. Yeah, right now actually it's just a huge surprise. I like to see Madball coming back in this game, but Pavel, how are you managing to do that? You had such a good, oh my gosh, <laughs> such a good opportunity just to hide. It was so easy. No, no, he, he decided even to make some more damage and this couple of frags, telefrags, made it by, made by, by Madball. Whoa, it's just... Right now, two frags. If, Two if frags. everything will be okay, <laughs> Pavel can do that. Still down. can do that. Look at this, Madball dropping down, getting one HP left, only 25 to work with here. Finally getting a little bit of stat 10 seconds left, and he, all he needs to do is hide. Pavel is going to be on the hunt. He's going to take a little bit of splash rocket damage. That could have knocked him down, but it sounds like it didn't. And yeah, Pavel knows it. Wow, Madball. 
taking this the distance. He's gonna tie this up two to two. Are you kidding me right now? GG guys. Comeback. Do Beautiful not relax. Comeback. We have more, 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 more games in this match. Oh, actually, best of fight is not about to finish. Wow, um, really nice game by Matt Ball. A surprise for everyone, I suppose. And he look at his stats. He even made less damage than Pavel. Pavel over it for four hundred damage. Uh, he made it better, I would say, but. Oh my, the score is let's, let's get a different. little spam and chat here from Mad Ball. That that's that's huge. Again, uh, what was that? An eleven frag comeback with five minutes less than five minutes left? Yeah, that's for five on T seven of all places too. I mean, that's impressive nonetheless, but when you go and do that on T seven, you've got to give some props to the guy. That's that's huge. And what better what better way to end this series with an Arawak game? I can't think of a better way, so I'm stoked. Right now we have a tiebreaker, uh, so it's 2-2 for both of the players, and the last game here, hope is no lags again, uh, so far so good. And yeah, players are about to start, it should be a crazy game right now, because both of the players warm it up enough, both of the players are already angry enough, and they're already motivated a lot to, to win each other. Okay, um, to get this win. Yeah. Uh, right now we are on 100, 125 one. FPS, September League is uh, best of 12 rounds and we are here with Pavel and Matt Ball <laughs> and first frag for Pavel again, amazing rocket by him. Gotta love the game starting just like that, Arrowwalk again, I, as most of you know, I, I love casting Arrowwalk, I love watching games on Arrowwalk. I absolutely despise playing it because I get destroyed. It's way too fast for me and I'm just terrible at it regardless. But love watching this. And what better way to start this off with the rockets from Pavel. That's exactly what you want to see on maps like this. And on uh, two to two ties like this. Oh my god, that, that rocket as well. Very nearly landing. And the LG's come out from both players. Madball surely going to back out here. But those 225s actually might make him stay. He's going to look to get a little bit of damage on this red. But both major items are up. Pavel playing this just to make sure that uh, Madball doesn't run away. Both players weak here though. And the rail oh comes out from Pavel, takes him down, and this should give him red as well as Mega. This is huge for Pavel. Perfectly played from him in a quick 3-0 lead before the one minute mark. In this game, Pavel, it's important to get at least two, 20 frags lead, I suppose. <laughs> as we can see, 10 is not enough against Madball. And uh, so far he's done a good job. He's uh, over control. He gets uh, all he, all, most of his uh, rails connected. And... Yeah, as you can see, he's trying to catch up uh, my ball one more time. Beautiful, Beautiful work there from Pavel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Playing that Mega exactly how he needed to to get that kill. That Mega is exactly what kept him alive. But uh, Rockin' jumping around a little bit right now. The 25s are not up. This is going to be dangerous little air, but never mind. Again, <laughs> all the explosive damage here from Pavel is just landing perfectly, it seems. That's a, that's a direct grenade, and that's going to keep him alive and actually going to get him a sick frag. And Madball, again, He's trying his best to string something together, but it's just not happening right now for him. Uh, finally, Madball making something happen. Pavel going down for the first time, and, and hopefully Madball can transition this a little bit and, and make things happen. This is a very momentum-heavy uh, based map. So if Madball can string together a little bit of damage, oh wow, that, that rocket jump almost, almost failed. But Pavel will win himself red, and he may take a rail, but no, Mavel actually misses that, and I think Pavel's even surprised about that. He comes back and lands one, but takes tons of LG damage for his trouble there. And Pavel is still sitting on a, a slightly decent stack, so not too much to be worried about right now. Oh, huge Mad Bell stack right now, just down to, to rail of opposition. Oh my, how he made this, this combo kill, actually. It was impressive. I was sure that it will be Pavel's frag, but no, as we can see, Russian can do that, and he's still right now trying to attack even uh, from, from better position, I would say, but this time Rocket's not connected so well. Oh, so is that bad, that bad. A bit hard time for, for Pavel, but I still believe that he will come back. Come back into the game. Yeah, that was... Uh... 
I was actually kind of surprised that Pavel didn't land many rockets there. That was, I guess we can we can say that Mad Ball is positioning and playing those stairs and dodge was uh was very very good. But again, taking so much grenade damage here, Pavel is getting so much free damage from uh, grenades and rockets, and that LG just absolutely devastates Mad Ball and just ruins all the momentum he had. Mad Ball playing that uh, uh, a little wrong there. I didn't I didn't like what he did there and just he opted out for a weapon that he's not too strong with and, and he does he does get taken down. Uh, I make that another time as well. Nine to three now. As red comes up right now, Mega is going to be up in a few seconds. Madball is actually opting to stay around this area and play the Mega. And Pavel can only hope that uh, he didn't spawn up at red, which actually Madball did. But that rail lands. That's beautiful work from Pavel. One more. He can actually rush in here if he really wanted to. Rush in here. See what I did there? But uh, he runs out of LG ammo, opts for the rail. Still wins himself a Mega, and he's going to make his way back to red. So kind of a deja vu play here uh, from the last, from that first minute, and gets both major items. So beautiful work there from Pavel. Perfect play by Pavel actually, and we are again on the same score like we had uh, at the same time almost on one month before. This is a good feeling, is you're not alone there actually here. <laughs> so I, I just hope that Pavel will not let this time to so easy all these facts uh, back to my goal. And he's doing pretty good with all his uh, accuracy right now, it's impressive, and his uh, spawn prediction also. And I like how he plays his positioning, uh, and uh, he plays it, uh, I would say, just perfect, perfect way. He's not showing up when he doesn't need to, and he, he, use it, he uses all, all opportunities and all kinds of, of his own weapon when his uh, opponent can't manage to do that. For example, like he's doing right now, uh, when he's put his opponent without shot. So, it's he, he did a lot of damage before he died, actually. <laughs> okay. One more chance for Metal. Yeah, possibly a five minute warning just hit a few seconds ago, but Mad Ball is going to be taking a rocket and a rail right afterwards, and Pavel is just solidifying his lead here. Ten frag differential. But I, again, I don't want to count Madball out despite what's happening right now. Uh, we just saw an 11 frag comeback on T7 to get to this map. So, But again, Madball is he's being a little predictable on this map, um, definitely. And 15 to 4, it's a little intimidating when you look at the scoreboard. But actually, wow, Madball, beautiful grenade there, giving, uh, giving Pavel a taste of his own medicine there. Letting him, uh, letting him know what that spam is, is exactly like. But... Uh, Pavel, regardless, is going to be pushing here a little bit, going kind of aggressive, and actually Rocco jumps away from that Mega. He's going to actually set up for this red, and he's really early. That's surprising, because Madball is going to win himself that Mega, and that's a huge mistake, I think, from Pavel. Wow, and the yeah, air rocket comes down. Pavel, failing that shot, props himself up for Madball to take him down, so this is a foot in the door now for, Pavel, or for Madball, but with Pavel landing those rails, uh, I'll just shut my mouth. Absolutely surprised move by Pavel this time. Why he drop it that Mega? It was... Huge, huge, huge advantage right now. He just gave all cards to to Madball, so he can do whatever he wants. Actually, only if he will be able to to pick up this mega back. Yes, he will. One HP left. Look at this. How lucky he is right now. In this case, it was absolutely luck. <laughs> oh my! At least Pavel got his frag back. Yeah, well, Pavel able to convert that frag uh, right off his spawn there. Madball showing up the wrong place at the wrong time, but uh, kind of split on the map sides right now. Looks like Pavel's going to push his way into red and see if he can make something happen. It looks like most of these items are coming up close to the same time, but Madball is going to get that pickup and he's going to get the frag. He is left really weak though, but Mega is up. Pavel maybe going to deny with his shotgun. Madball needs to be careful jumping over to Mega if he jumps at all. Pavel playing this very, very well. And yeah, actually he's going to win himself that Mega. Beautiful work from Pavel coming to the teleporter too just to finish things off. And that was beautifully played from Pavel. So, in your opinion, three minutes right now, two minutes and a half. Is it enough to, to get back in this game for Madball? Okay, I suppose that no. <laughs> wow, actually just grenade kill too. My ball's gonna be going down. Wow, that rocket, oh my god. Again, just kind of a testament to how things have been today for Pavel. The, the rockets, the grenades, anything that's explosive has been pretty much spot on. And he's getting so much free damage and free kills, obviously, with uh, with these weapons. So beautiful work right now from Pavel. I, I, I'm so impressed with how he's playing. 
the map ball again going going way too aggressive in some of these maps and, and right now he does get the frag but with less than two minutes left it's uh this is gonna be an interesting uh interesting comeback if at all possible Both players very, very weak here, both screaming. Pavel's gonna opt out and just run away for that Mega. And actually, it looks like that red jump was failed by Madball. I don't know if Pavel noticed that, but he uh, he had an opportunity to make something happen there. And actually takes a rail, so Madball is gonna come in and try to finish things off. But the rockets are huge again from Pavel. Are you kidding me? And that is actually gonna be Madball giving up right there. That is going to be game for Pavel. And Madball gets out of here. Wow. I'm impressed by both players. I, I mean... Pavel playing that perfectly, but Madball with the comeback, I, I expected him to kind of have a newfound uh, momentum and, and maybe a little bit more confidence going into this map, but it seemed like he, he 